<clears throat> so I guess two. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All sorts of gassy. Uh, I could poison her with this pop tart. That'll do it. And brownie. You. Fancy me to Oh, the you, bitch. Joe. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Oh, it must be that weather. Nasty. It's a nice Then again, day. it always rains here. Mm. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. Oh, yes. The lovely Ivy. Or rather, the ungrateful bitch always busy fucking your life up. You know nothing about Ivy. She knows everything. Still searching for her, are we? Voice. Well, go on then. I'll wait. Just me let me know here? when you've had enough. Then you can have me. Any way you want. Uh, now these answers are yes. Because this is no. Look, this really isn't a good time. Sure. I just stopped to say hi, that's all. I've got a hotel to run. <laughs> but come find me in my office later. I'll let you take me on my desk if you want. I don't know, Joe. She's better than Ivy. So now I have corridors and a bunch of rooms. Who designed this hotel? I don't know. That chick. Uh, Are some dogs gonna jump through the windows? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is there, is there something to look at with that fell or just, that's just, mm -hmm. I'm scared. Got it. Okay, well. <clears throat> uh, fix, oh, fix the, Push yes. It. Yes. Take a shit. One-handed. Oh, shit. Okay. Nothing. Get some smokes out of it, or attempt to. Yeah, spend whole ten dollars on that. Forty pounds. This is in England. Did, did, no. Yeah. No. No. Oh, yeah. Pesos. Hat got stuck. My ripples. Damn thing. Come out. We're yelling at a cigarette machine in hell. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's just gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Nothing. If only I had another tenner. Okay, go to your right. Dollars. Oh, the lights actually came on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so go back to the... elevator. Red. Or you can go into... see if you can go into those. There you go. Oh. Okay. The glass that. bowl, take it, yes. Yeah. X rays. Mm-hmm. Pull it. Oh, there you are. Hey buddy. Hi. Uh, hi. What's that? I'm busy. Just get on with it and be quick. Okay, calves and poison. What's going on here? Oh, I'll tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on, and I'm not impressed. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Yes. At first, the whispering didn't seem that much of a bother, but then the voices got louder and louder. 
I can't even hear my own thoughts sometimes. It's like they're trying to stop me from something. All I hear is this slide projector. Yes, for now. But wait. In time, you will hear them too. Who are you? Who are you? Why? Have we not been acquainted yet? I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor, performing brain surgery. A live brain surgery. Jesus, man. What the? Now this, this here, is called a Lazarus sign. Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem. But I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. So, it's an autopsy? Not exactly. I'm still trying to save her. You said she's dead. It's too late. It is never too late. Mm -hmm. Can this Who doctor, is she? Can this doctor come with me on no. my adventures? No. I'm trying but, uh, to find no. my wife. Uh, well, you won't uh, find her here, that is certain. She was. Most visits that I get are stiff as a board. Maybe. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. Who is she, yes? Who is she, anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. I think her name is... Agnes. So you knew her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. Who are you, really? Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one can. Well, you said it. Roll the credits. Uh, oh. Okay. Can you save me? Uh, yes. Uh. But I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Bring me something. From the cellar. I'll give you the key. Bring what? You'll know when you see it. I'm sure you will. Can you go and fetch it for me? Fine. I'll go to the cellar. Good. Go. Quickly. Here's the key. I'll get everything ready. Okay. Down to the uh, cellar. Are you sure we can have him as like a companion? Uh, no. Not, uh, no. <laughs> but we need him. I think that's the same doctor from Cat Lady, actually. I don't, know, I don't think so. Is it Dr. Z? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably him. But, but you could, you could tell me about this secretary person and cut her open. Well, I think it gets better. Panel, yeah, okay. This. You could have just taken the second. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's at the same distance. Just unlock it yourself. Damn it, Joe. <coughs> okay, so we have poison and we have uh, something else. Yes. I okay. have no idea what I'm looking for. So, kinda look around. Yeah, right. Castor oil, never to be consumed. Take it, you want it. Okay, oh, uh, light switch. Okay, so it, it looks it looks like there's something there. The key. Turn the gas on. I switched it on. Yes, you did. Whoa. Mm -hmm. 
take that off. We don't need that. There's that bathroom. Uh huh. Is this like our memories or something? Thanks for doing the dishes. Ives. Thanks for making dinner. It was nice. I'm just. I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried. You know, this whole. Can we just forget about it? I'm fine. There is nothing to worry about. I'll join her now. Mm hmm. Look at it. Huh? That. Uh, what did you do? The lights. Well, I'm stuck in here. Oh, there's a cat in here. Back to the mirror real quick. Oh, there's something there. So let's take some of these in the door. Oh, oh. Thingy. Okay. He's gonna start talking and shit, I'm sure. I'm gonna try killing you. Go to your right. Hello there. Okay. Pathetic. Ugly. Bitch. Everyone's looking at you. Your fat, disgusting body on their tongues. What the hell's going on? Ow! There's only one way out. And you know it. Because you've been there many times before. No! I don't want to. Quiet. Now, be a good fat little girl and crawl into that hole before anyone sees you. So is this like Joe from the Cat Lady? Yes. You just figured that out? Uh, I thought it was just that zombie person from the... Uh, oh. There. The, she, that's the wife that she was looking for. It, you know, that he was looking for. With the room with the mirrors. You have to go to the toilet. You have to crawl in. Yeah, I crawl in the toilet. She's... I don't know the exact term, but it's like bulimic or anorexic. I can't that. just carry it upstairs in my hand. We're not done yet. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. We have to deliver it fresh. Like we're pizza delivery men. Well, let me see. All these bottles, are they poison? Sure, I'll, I'll oh my God. Uh, go. Well. No. Oh. You just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay. Uh, examine them. But I've only got one shot. Which one do I take? Uh, I got the quick save. Eh. I examine. Examine the red. Makes me think of blind danger and fire. Okay, blue. Color sky, water, and no, her eyes were never blue. They were green. Okay. Uh, I'm sure uh, they'll both work. Take, take the red. Just enough for a single injection. Shit. <sighs> okay, so... We need... You know what, go ahead and turn off the gas. You're gonna need to turn off the gas. I've switched it off now. Okay. Um, go out. Some stuff up here. So we need the syringe. 
And we we have the, the bowl thing. We're probably going to need like some ice or something. Well, I do have a I do have a bowl. Yeah, but you're gonna need ice. Uh -huh. We need to keep it fresh. I don't need to do that. Just gotta scoop it out of there. The uh, ice cream scoop. You don't want to do it? The brain will certainly fit inside, but I need to figure out how to keep it fresh first. Mm -hmm. there you. Yep. Called it! They kept going on about fresh and shit. Okay. Uh, and the freshest one her here? Her? Freshest one her? You're from somewhere, her? Well, knowing Jill, you'll probably want some tongs or something. No, he's not that much of a fancy. Okay, uh... Maybe there's some in the uh, kitchen. Uh, uh, yeah, go in the kitchen. No. Uh, yes. That's locked. Why is it locked? What did you do? It's locked because I need to use the key. Ooh, I'll take that blender. Switch on. Damn it. <laughs> Turn it on. No. Take the pick. Hey, closer look. Take take the ice pick. Okay. I'm surprised there's not a human body in here. Uh, close enough, there's a pig. Just break it away. Uh, yeah, have to pick it up. Yes, so. It's just. Just. Mm. <laughs> just gonna melt by the time I get back there. Talk to it. Yes. I know Talk you're just a, a pig. pig, but don't do anything to that pig. I want to tell you this. Oh, he's gonna do stuff to that pig. So. Can we spawn like so. places? Tucker. <gasps> Tucker! What do you want? He wants a pig. You want some uh, Pop Tart? No, do not give him that Pop Tart. Or that brownie. It's good for dogs. No. No. Gotcha, I'm gonna get sued for some kid killing their dog. <sighs> it depends on the size of the dog and the amount of chocolate. What about five brownies worth? I'll give you an example. The same how people are allergic to, let's say, uh, strawberries or some shit. Not everybody is allergic to strawberries. It's the same thing with dogs. But it's just better just not to take the chance. If a chihuahua was to eat an M&M, the chances of that dog surviving is pretty, pretty decent. If a chihuahua was to eat like a giant like three chocolate bars, yeah, yeah, you're gonna have a problem. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Come on, buddy. Uh, We're okay. going for a walk. That's the brain. A brain, and I need syringe. Yes. You'll probably get from the doctor. Uh, I think so. Maybe. It makes sense. That means I have to backtrack again. Well, you have to give the, the thing to the brain to the doctor. Well, is he on the second floor? Yeah, second or third. Good old boy. You stink. Like he's already trying to reach it? No, do not have him eat your damn food. Dog will have the shits. Is it 207 or 204? 07. Okay. He ate the bacon again. Bacon is different than... Yeah, but, but it was four, four slices and... I had to go to the bathroom and he just ah, I see you have it. 
Quick, give it yep, to me. That's why you don't give do it that. to me, boy. Give it to me. You want some oil? No. Give him the human brain. Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes. Else? Now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Or what's left of it in. Anyway. Mm. Fingers crossed, Doc. This has nothing to do with luck, mind you. I am certain my calculations were correct. Now it's just a matter of following a correct procedure. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here... Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. You don't have to yell at me, Doctor. Put some elbow grease into it, boy! <laughs> That's better. And a little push? Hmm, maybe this way? It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. Are you sure I'm it's doing in. brain We've surgery? It's in! We've done it, boy! <laughs> so this is how you do brain transplants. It's so easy, I'm surprised people don't do it more. Hmm. Now that everything is ready, it is time for the machine. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead, have you forgotten? No, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. I'll let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. And with that being said, we're going to pause it for this episode. You guys have a good night. Like and subscribe. Comment down below with your negative and positive feedback. And thank you for watching.